Well, hello, this is Tumble Dumpling, and welcome to another video. It is time to unveil one of my more favorite function builds that I just completed. I've finally built a function file that will actually find and locate your spawn chunks for you. And it'll actually give you this graphical layout of stained glass to show you what it looks like, if you want it to. So first you're going to look down in the description below and you're going to see a link on where I'm going to download these function files from. So when I click on that, it's going to bring me into my browser. And if your computer's anything like mine, it's going to lag out like crazy. It's going to bring you to Google Drive. And here we go. So in Google Drive, I've brought you directly to the file, so you need to click on this download button here. And save the file. I'm just going to put it onto my desktop. So it's right there. It is zipped. So I need to right click on it and extract all. Extract. And look at that. I've got the file that I need right inside this. So I'm going to stick that out there on my desktop. Shuffle that away try again and now I need to go into my Minecraft folder if you do not know how to get into your dot Minecraft folder there's a link in the description below to where do I put my function files when I do find that and I get into my dot Minecraft folder I'm gonna go into the saves I'm gonna find the map that I want to use for me that's gonna be this one here and I'm gonna go into data packs that's empty right now and I can just drag and drop that file folder in there close that down fire up the game so I've just loaded up my save game here just a note you do need to have cheats enabled for this to work now before you do anything press F3 go into your debug screen and you need to go and write down your coordinates. You're gonna get warped way away from here and we wanna make sure that we get back to the right place. So after that, we have one more really important thing to do. You need to take 64 of any block, doesn't matter what type, and smear it around in your whole inventory. You're only gonna leave one block open in your inventory, just like that one. You will see why coming up, but one open space only. Very important. Now let's type in a command, slash fun, hit the tab button, space, tab button, find my spawn chunks, press enter. You just got warped many, many blocks away. Now you're gonna reload that same function command one more time. And here we go. Okay, I just got spam with 256 books in this book. It tells me my spawn chunk coordinates, negative 160 by negative 128. So to get back there, I'm just gonna type slash TP. I'm gonna select my name, negative 160. And I'm just gonna go to X coordinate, or sorry, that's Y coordinate, 100 and negative 128. Press enter. So I just pressed F3 and I'm gonna press F3G as well. You're gonna notice that we're right on the corner of a spawn chunk grid, or this is just a chunk grid, but this right here is the middle of my spawn chunks. Literally this blue line there is the very, very center. So we're gonna notice on our chunk coordinates, which is over here, that we're at chunk coordinate zero, four, zero. If you want to be able to display what our actual spawn chunks are gonna look like, I've made another portion to this. So let's make some room here 
and type in slash give your name. Type com tab. And that gives you command block. So you got one of those. So right here on chunk coordinate zero zero or zero four zero, you're going to put this. You're going to right click on the command block. You're going to type in fun tab. And now we're going to tab down to the chunk viewer. I'm going to change this from needs redstone to always active and click done. I'm going to give this a moment to load up. And here we go. So what this has done is it has put a whole bunch of glass blocks up at level 255 on the Y coordinate. So right at the very, very top of your world, the red and blue squares represent the different chunks, the active chunks in your spawn chunks, the yellow and black on the edges recommend your lazy spawn chunks. You'll have to read more up on that all by yourself. And there's a little tiny square in the middle. That is the center of your spawn chunks. Now, you probably don't want this thing floating around in your sky. So what you can do is go back down to the same one. And notice how we can just tab over the chunk viewer cleaner. Click that back to always active. And all those, those blocks are going to disappear on us. But I like them there, so I'm putting it back. There you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this function build. Always remember, like, comment, and subscribe, and keep the suggestions coming. I love doing these things and I plan to keep on doing these until Minecraft totally changes everything and then I'm gonna do it more. Bye-bye.